Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome back to the outside broadcast of Hilal TV from the steps of City Hall for the opening of Parliament. And it's always nice bumping into two brothers all the way from Durban. We often speak to them on Hilal TV, advocates for uh, uh, Palestine as well. Uh, brother Abdul Valadia, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you, brothers? Alhamdulillah. Lovely to see you. And then always a pleasure speaking to brother Imran Sobrati. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Jazakallah. Thank you for having us here. My absolute pleasure. It's lovely being here. It's such an auspicious occasion because this is unprecedented times that we're living in with regards to the government of national unity as well. With regards to our brothers and sisters in Palestine, the ANC has been very close in supporting the cause for our brothers and sisters in Palestine. What is your thoughts on the GNU going forward for the support to end the genocide? Well, according to what we've been, you know, what we noticed and what we've also spoken with leadership, Nothing's changed, uh, you know, regarding what the, what the ANC stands for. The ANC is very, very clear on the policy. Their policy is clear, they stand with Palestine, whatever has been put through ICJ will remain. And uh, as I say, the head of the GNU is the ANC. So we are heading, I mean, I'll say we, but when I say I'm in the Palestinian solidarity, I'm involved with the ANC. Yeah. We are he we heading the GNU. So uh, we, as, as far as that is concerned, that's going to change it. Absolutely. Nobody will be able to change that. And you know, as we know, Honorable Imran Sobrati, which is the SG of the United for Palestine today, Alhamdulillah, through the you know, work that we've done you know, regarding Palestine cause, we've got our first Muslim candidate, okay. you know, the first Muslim that's come from KZN. And this has all come from, you know, with regards to from Palestine. Okay. So he's also going to be holding the umbrella to help. And he's already, already started a lot of works already. He's had already three very big debates that have been following quite closely. Okay. And, you know, all we can say, we're here to work. He's here, and I'm actually invited through him. You know, I'm actually the guest here today, you know, uh, for the opening of parliament. And, you know, inshallah, let's hope everything goes well. Inshallah. Brother Imran, it's always a, a pleasure seeing you as well, and I see you've got back up uh, this time as well, coming, <laughs> coming, coming to the opening of parliament. Uh, we're about an hour away before the president delivers his speech. What are you hoping to hear from the president now that we have so many other parties joining the government of uh, national unity are we better in numbers i think this is a today is going to be a very great moment for us as a country for us as a nation i think we're going to hear the combined forces when people come together when people set aside their differences when people focus on what we ought to be focusing on, and that is improving the lives of the people, when we become people-centered and people focus upon that, then I think South Africa is in for really great positive change. So I'm really, inshallah, optimistic. Our Honorable President will address the issues that confront us all and the key three issues that faces us, the issues of poverty, unemployment, uh, inequality. So I'm very optimistic we will here today a plan of action that will comprehensively and decisively address the problems we face as South Africans and I'm very very optimistic that our Honorable President will also be very mindful of world peace and he'll also factor that into his, uh, his, his presentation this evening. How auspicious that it's Mandela Day today as well, uh, honoring our great, uh, the late great President uh, Nelson Mandela who paved the way for so many of us as well. Any last message to the community listening in order to remember uh, our, our dear departed President Nelson Mandela? Sure, you know, as we come back to the activists of the Palestinian solidarity side, you know, if it was not for Mandela, we, South Africa, today would have never taken this case to the ICJ. So he's been the rock and the pillar towards what's happened. You know, I mean, he had to take this country. On the, you know, <laughs> we were sitting on, you know, we couldn't even keep the lights on, but we ended up in ICJ. And that's, that's an achievement, and that's because of, you know, Absolutely. Nelson Mandela, Mandela himself. Absolutely. Brother Ibrahim. Let, let, me call, let me use, borrow the, the, the saying of Utata Madiba on this great day of Mandela Day when he said, everything seems impossible until it's done. So the freedom of Palestine seems an impossibility, but we must be hopeful through our continued efforts, through our solidarity, through our lobbying and engagement, inshallah we can play a part for a free, free Palestine. Jazakallah, brothers. Nice seeing you in Cape Town as well. We'd like to speak to you after the speech if you have time as well, inshallah. Jazakallah so much. Right, so there we go, two brothers from uh, Durban speaking to us who are so much uh, a part of the struggle, the fight uh, to end the genocide in Palestine. For Hilal TV, I'm Lukman Shadrach.